Arena Breakout is one of the hardest, most tactical shooter games on mobile right now. So here are a few tips and tricks that you can use to win some gunfights, all of which you can actually use in any map and you don't have to be a demon pro gamer to do any of these moves either. First one up, patience. Arena Breakout requires a mountain of patience from its players. Bum rushing every fight will most likely get you killed. In this clip, you'll see that I spotted an enemy running across to the other side. Pro tip. Pay very close attention to your screen at all times. Split second things like this could be the reason you either win or lose an entire raid. Oh, someone's, up someone's upstairs, Varisha. Anyway, I saw this guy running through, right? Before I saw this guy, me and my team knew that there were loads of people in this area. So I play slow, take cover and wait for the guy to make his next move. Nothing actually happened for ages and I know he didn't see me when I saw him. So I push a little forward to try and catch him at an angle. Okay, okay. I mean to press that. Oh, he's there. I can see him. And just like that, a little repositioning did the trick. Next take advantage of the chaos and use teamwork. In this clip, you'll see me use a super cheap 20k MP5 weapon build that absolutely decimated two people wearing T4 armor. Firstly, I'm using special dum dum rounds for this gun. These bullets deal ridiculous amount of damage on exposed body parts. My teammate decides to kill the bots next to us. I decided to take advantage of all the noise and chaos to catch the enemy off guard because I knew that as soon as my teammates started shooting, the enemies would try and go for a third party. So I take position and get ready to deny them. Yeah, those are real players. Um, let me kill this one behind us, just in case. I want the enemies to be dead. I killed the one behind us so we can focus on this two. There are two though. I actually did barely any damage at the start of my shots because I was aiming at his chest. But as soon as I shot his legs, I dropped him. At this point, I gave team comms to say that the enemy was knocked and wasn't a straight kill. Uh, sorry, I downed him, I downed him, I downed him. There were two, I told you there were two. This basically lets my teammate know that the guy I killed was in a team. So we approach with extreme caution. Stay behind the window and just lose this guy. Cover you. That guy can't kill you, he can't do anything. Kev, um, could, you, could you do me a favor and just keep an eye out on this window? I had a feeling that there's still an enemy nearby, so I asked King to cover this window as I loot the body. Right here is what I was talking about earlier. Pay very close attention to your screen as split second moments like this could cost you the game. Look here. As I was turning to loot, another enemy has seemed to be hiding behind these boxes. Lucky me, the enemy had potato aim and I managed to kill him instead. He's, he's right in front. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. Got him, he's dead. You killed him, right? Yeah, dead. Alright. Number three. Sometimes we just rush. Here, I see an enemy tries to lock himself in a room. Shortly after the door closes, I hear the enemy start to heal. My teammate also gave me the comms. The best thing to do when someone is healing is to literally rush them. They will be completely vulnerable and won't be able to fight back at all. You'll need to be very quick though because if they cancel quick enough, they'll be able to gun you down. This is basically the same when someone is throwing a grenade. Rush when you hear them pull the pin. Yeah, the window on your left, I thought you that's where he's... Yeah, he closed it. That's a real play. Do you have any grenade, bro? Shooting through. Do you have any nades? I thought you're healing, no. he's healing. Go, go, go. I think Borisha is dead. He's healing up. Open the wall. He's right yeah. beside you. Oh, nice he's dead. Number four. Wait for the right moment to not blow your cover. Also, reposition to confuse the enemies. I spotted an enemy behind this wall and I wasn't confident enough to get the kill. So I hold off for a better shot. A few moments later, he runs across upstairs. I'm using a shotgun inside of this bunker. That guy goes with me. I can see I can see someone right there, 265. If you have a shot, you can take it. I don't. It's it was between a gap. I, I don't think I would have made that. I think they're I think they're upstairs. Yeah, it's From here the enemy knew where I was. So I decided to run away to make him think I left. I dashed straight back through to try and catch him off guard. Don't stay peeking or hide and then peek back out. Why? This could happen to you. Be careful. Yeah, they're still they're still dead. Dead. One dead. Yup, a simple and super small flick when he popped back out allowed me to get an easy headshot on him. Number five. 
Uno Reverse. This game is incredibly campy. That's basically just the nature of the game. So a lot of the time, people will expect enemies to be camping. I get chased here and as I run into the room upstairs, I get shot. I hide behind the door and as soon as I hear him push and get close to me, I jump back out and take him by surprise because he'd think that I was scared and just gonna be ratting in the corner. Uno Reverse, baby. Jesus, that is not a bot player. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Number six, set a small trap. You can set up simple traps with simple movement and angles to catch some enemies. I spot an enemy out here who I'm sure spotted me too, right? So I dash in this room to the left, crouch, and then hold an angle. It's incredibly hard to see anything from the outside, which is super bright, looking into this room, which is super dark. So, take advantage of that darkness and kill enemies with ease. Oh, boy. Oh, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. They're outside, they're outside. Be careful, though. Just touch them, Down, down, kill them. And last but not the least, how to open doors and 60-40 rule. Opening a door has a delayed animation, so basically, it takes about one full second before you actually start to open any door. Use this time to get behind cover and stay safe. Right here, I open the door then strafe immediately to my left behind this wall. Me and my teammate are working together to take the enemies out behind this door. As I open it, I take one guy out and was able to move behind cover immediately. I don't peek back out as bullets were literally flying through the door. I didn't want to get one tapped in the face because I saw there was an enemy right behind that guy. Another thing to note here was that do not stand directly behind doors. If my teammate was standing directly behind the door ready to shoot, he would have gotten lasered by three people. Instead, he held a perfect angle behind me to the left of the door and 1v3 the rest of the enemies in seconds. And that's it for today's class. If you want any more amazing contests like this, guides, tips and tricks, weapon builds, let me know in the comment section below. And obviously, subscribe and notifications on so you know when I drop those videos. Peace.